Hello everybody, this is part 5 of modeling a conceptual hair dryer. Okay, in this part, I would like to build some kind of uh, detail around the buttons. Okay, basically, I want the edge to be raised up and then nicely blended with the main body. Okay, let's start. Okay, I want this and let's hide the rest. Okay, so what I'm going to do is extract this surface here okay so right mouse click over the extract surface okay and then join this okay and let's create a curve around here okay So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the duplicate edge to duplicate this, okay, and this, okay, and join, and then use the offset curve on surface, okay. Offset. Uh, distance away from this curve okay and let's have the offset distance to 3 okay so we got something like that and we do the same for the other side okay okay so got something like that okay and now what we're going to do is cut a Get around here okay let's try using the trim okay so cutting object is uh, this object to trim is this okay so we got like the gap around okay and then what I'm going to do is create a cross section over here that will define our detail okay Let's use the control point curve. Let's do it in this view. Make sure that you have enough control points to begin with. Okay, so that we are able to get our required uh, shape. Okay. So got something like that. And then what I need to do is to match this to that okay let me just do a bit of fine adjustment here first okay use the match curve match this to this edge here and set it to curvature i want a curvature match and i need to preserve the other side as well okay so clear okay and need to do a bit of fine adjustment so i can type and vouch okay and adjust this okay need to adjust this this is just a bit too much something like that okay Okay, something like that okay so let's create a surface here okay let's try sweep to rail okay so auto chain let's set to yes okay so first rail make sure you are using the H okay Okay, so this is the first rail, enter, second rail, we can use the curve because we only need to match the position, okay, and, okay, cross section, yeah, so we got something like that, and make sure that you are matching it to 
something that you will be nicely uh, blending this surface so in this case here I want to set to curvature okay so click OK so I got my first uh, feature here and let's uh, move on to create this okay so what I'm going to do is duplicate this edge Okay, this might be a bit tricky because the edges have been broken up into quite a lot of pieces okay okay and click join Okay, and then let's try the offset curve on surface again. Okay, see it's not really working. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's uh, create an alternative uh, method. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, let's uh, simplify this a little bit using the review curve non-uniform I think the maximum point count I can set higher to let's say 50 okay okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this okay okay the curves are not symmetrical in a, in a sense and there's a part that is a broken here so I don't think I can use this curve okay so I'm going to undo ctrl z okay to get back to the original one okay get back to this original one and uh, work with it okay so Let me just do inverse height, okay? Okay. When we delete this, it's like breaking away, so that I think there's some problem with this stuff here. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, review this again, okay? Review this thing again, okay? Okay, I'm going to cut this using the split. Object to split is this. Cutting object is this. Okay, so I don't need this. I need to remove away this. Okay. And let's review this. Okay. And mirror this onto the other side. Let's join this to this, okay? And then let's remove some of the points okay I think there are too much points here it's never good to have excessive points okay remove this okay let's bring everything back okay so I got this curve and then let's create an offset version of of it okay 
So I'm going to type the offset instead of the offset surface. I will just use a normal offset. Okay, and set a distance of 3 as well. Okay, so I got this curve here. And let's hope that this curve will work. Okay. Let's manually rotate this. Okay, and then create a surface. And use this surface for our trimming work. Okay. Select cutting object, object to trim. Okay, great. Okay, so now we don't need this. Okay, now I need to create this detail again. Okay, and I need to create this section here, okay? So what I'm going to do is duplicate this edge here. Hope that we will not get any more problem. Okay, click join. Okay, and then uh, let's start to draw the curve. So make sure I'm snapping to the end. Make sure that we have enough control points. Okay, something like that. And let's um match this again. Curvature. Okay. something like that okay maybe let me use a adjust and vouch to adjust this okay now let's see whether this will work or not okay Let's mirror this onto the other side. Let's join these curves. Okay, now uh, let's cross our finger and hope that it will work. Okay, sweep to rail, uh, auto change set to yes. Okay, so first rail, second rail, we can use the curve. Okay, this is the cross section. Okay. Make sure we are matching it to curvature. Okay. So now uh, let's join the pieces together.
okay now let's analyze the surface using zebra okay so we are getting a uh, yep, curvature match over here Yeah, it's curvature mesh over here. Yeah, you can see, yeah. So those are curvature mesh. Okay. So seems quite okay to me. Okay, let's bring all the features back. Okay, I should create some kind of a filler over here, but I don't think I want to bore the audience with this kind of work. Okay, so yeah, almost done. Okay, I think we are almost done with our work. Okay, so the final hair dryer should look something like that. Okay, and with that, I come to the end of this video. See you. Bye.